Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. If you've ever wanted to turn your Android phone into a full desktop PC, then this one's for you. The all-new Zotos Emulator V6.0 is finally here. This all-in-one powerhouse lets you run Windows software, Linux apps, and even classic PC and console games, all from one single emulator. So, let's dive right in and see how to set it up and unlock the full power of your device. The new Zotos V6.0 is the only major update yet, making the emulator faster, cleaner, and more powerful. It fixes gamepad and wine issues, brings a refreshed UI with theme support, and removes extra files for better performance. New features include a shortcuts manager, advanced file manager, support to play PS1 and Xbox games, .deb package installation, optional Steam on Wine, and a built-in RetroArch with NetPlay, making it a true all-in-one emulator for Android. Setting up Zotos is surprisingly simple. You only need to install one app. Once installed, open the app and accept the notification prompt, then give it storage access. The installation size is around 1.6 GB, but after setup, it expands to nearly 9 GB because of the internal system files. Once the installation completes, the app might close automatically. Don't worry, that's normal. Just reopen it and you'll arrive at the main screen, where you'll see three options, Preferences, Start, and Exit. Next, let's configure the preferences before starting the emulator. Go into Preferences, and under the Output option, set the resolution mode to Native to Exact. Choose 1280x720 for standard devices. Scroll down to the bottom and turn on High Display Cutout if your device has a notch. Then go back and open other options, where you should enable the float ball menu. This is a really handy feature that provides quick access while using the emulator. Now, open Select Controller to set up your on-screen controls, similar to how it works on WinLater or GameHub. After that, open Wine Settings, configure Wine Options. Here, you'll need to choose the correct setup based on your phone's processor. If you have a Snapdragon device, follow the settings shown on screen. But if you're using a MediaTek, Mali, or other processor, use the alternate configuration. Once that's done, everything else can be left as it is. Now, now go back to the main menu. Click on Start, and you'll see a desktop-like environment with lots of icons, including Zotos, Prout, Kaylee, WineGlip, File Manager, Install, Restore, Backup, Quick Settings, and more. To launch the main Zotos desktop, tap on the first Zotos icon. A pop-up will appear asking you to choose your wrapper. Select Turnip Driver if you're on a Snapdragon device or Vulkan Driver if you're using MediaTek or Mali processors. Then, another pop-up will appear asking for the rendering mode. Choose CPU for more stability, hardware for faster performance, performance, or VirGL if you want to run Linux applications. After selecting your preferred options, the emulator will launch, and you'll be greeted with your desktop interface. Now your Zotos is running perfectly. You can even customize it by changing the wallpaper for a more personalized look. Essentially, you've just turned your Android phone into a mini Linux PC that runs offline and feels incredibly close to a real computer. To test things out, I tried a few emulators built inside Zotos. First, I launched the XEMU Xbox emulator, which is the PC version running through Zotos. The developer tested Crazy Taxi 3, and while it launched successfully, it ran at around 15 to 20 FPS, which is playable, but quite laggy. Next, I tested RetroArch, and that worked beautifully. Classic retro games like Sonic ran smoothly at 60 FPS, proving that lightweight games perform very well. Another interesting addition is the built-in App Store, where you can browse and install PC software directly within Zotos. The store is divided into sections like accessories, development, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, and productivity. However, not every program works perfectly. Some are placeholders, while others run smoothly depending on compatibility. You'll also find Firefox pre-installed, giving you a full PC-style browser experience. You can easily open YouTube, Google, and more, just like on a desktop computer. Overall, Zotos V6.0 is a massive leap forward. While some heavier PC games and applications still struggle, the overall experience is surprisingly strong for an emulator running on Android. It even comes with a lot of pre-installed software that you can explore and try out yourself from basic tools to full desktop applications. It's one of the closest experiences to having a portable Windows and Linux PC on your phone, and it's only getting better with each update. I'll be testing PC games on Zotos in another upcoming video, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative, gamers.